Welcome to the first video I'm recording for this channel. Um, my name is Nick Dyson, and this channel is meant to be a progress tracker as I move into long drive golf. Um, this is going to look like a speech because honestly it's the first time I've recorded something that isn't a formal speech, so I do a lot of talking, hopefully that will come across and I don't just run into uh, the case where I'm having to write down and turn this into a presentation every time we speak. So I'm going to keep, going to try and keep this introductory video short and concise. Uh, today I'm going to cover three things. Where have I come from? How did I get into long drive? And what you can expect to see here. To start, uh, give a bit of a background on myself. Um, I have always been someone who has loved games. And so as a kid, I played more video games than I'd care to admit. It started out with like Call of Duty as a kid transitioned into like COD 4 Pro Mod and then I ended up down the League of Legends rabbit hole where I played more hours of League of Legends as a kid than I would care to admit. But we're here to talk about sport and so what I have to do here is provide you how I got into sport in the first place. Um, when I was 15 I was in one of the darkest places of my life just playing League of Legends like eight hours a day every day but a friend of mine uh, introduced me and said hey, I'd love you to come down to this athletics track, come say hi to this guy, he's a throws coach, his name is Gus. And so at 15, I went down to the athletics track and said, hi Gus, I'd like to try and throw discus. So I went down, he said, yeah, cool, um, come try out, we train six days a week, uh, that's what we do, uh, let's give it a shot. So I went and did my first session, and at the end of the first session, Gus told me, you are the worst discus thrower I've ever seen in my life someone sent you here as a joke to test me. And that really stuck with me because I don't know why, but I quit everything else and started disc six days a week. And so honestly, I ended up doing that for the next eight years. And I, I tried really hard for disc. Um, I, I won some state champs. I like did well at uni nationals and stuff like that. But honestly, uh, nothing ever really came naturally to me in disc. Um, I worked pretty hard. I did a lot of gym work. I did a lot of throwing, but I ended up, uh, really trying to focus towards improving enough that I could qualify for the 2026 Melbourne Commonwealth Games. Uh, this was a long shot, but it's where my goal was. Uh, how then am I, is this a channel about long drive? I did discus forever. Well, on the 17th of July, 2023, I looked it up just before to double check this. Uh, it was announced that the Victoria will not host the Commonwealth Games. Um, this didn't immediately mean, oh, the Commonwealth Games is going to be cancelled, but we found out later that it looks like that's probably the case. Maybe it'll run in the future, but I had built my entire discus around the possibility of trying to qualify for this. And so when that wasn't something that was an option, I looked at it and went, okay, maybe it's an opportunity to try something else because I can't reasonably sacrifice the next two, three years of my life for something that may or may not happen. And so it left me with a decision and really it was rough. I was feeling in a pretty bad place. Um, I had fantastic people around me, but I was like, okay, I've made this commitment to DISC. What am I supposed to do? And at that point in time, I made a similar decision to when I started DISC in the first place. Why can't I take all the skills and strength and things that I've gained from DISC to try something else, to try something that crosses across? And so here we get to long drive. Let's take advantage of all the work I've done for disc and try to apply it to another sport. Uh, long drive and disc have a lot in common um, when it comes to power production, but honestly, I was not prepared for how precise and accurate you have to be to hit a ball 360 meters into a grid. Um, uh, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's a tough sport. Um, so four months ago, I started long drive and the first thing I did was find a place that I could train and get access to the best coaches I could get available to me. I started working with uh, someone named Dan from a place called Golf Athletics. Um, Golf Athletics is a fantastic facility by the way. Um, and then relatively early on I started chatting with all the long drivers in Australia and all of the best guys I could find uh, on Instagram everywhere that I could reach out to and going, hey, who should I be working with? Who's the best place? And they all pointed to someone named Craig Parker. And so at that time, I reached out to Craig, said, hey, I'd love to work with you. This is where I'm at. 
Um, I'm rough, but I'm pretty strong, so we'll go from there. And so I started working with Craig, and I just fully committed to trying to do the best in this sport. So that's where we're at. Um, I am now okay, learning it, learning it pretty quickly, but I think we have some reasonable potential to get good at this sport, and I'm going to do everything I can to try and be as good as possible. The next thing I wanted to chat about is what we see on this channel. Um, more or less, this is going to be a documentation of my journey into long drive and the choices I have to make along the way. Um, some of the choices that come up already, uh, I entered into my previous role. Um, I have I was working as a consultant in privacy and cybersecurity. Uh, that role I am no longer in because sometimes when sport comes first, work has to take a back seat and that um, introduced some challenges. But uh, I am not starting from nothing. I have some amazing people in my life. I have some of the best coaches I could get. I have 24 seven access to some world-class training facilities and I am fully expecting to this journey to be full of up and downs, but I'm gonna work pretty hard. Um, sport is tough and this isn't specific to long drive. All sports are tough and they demand a lot of sacrifice from you and the people around you. And so for me, I'm gonna be trying to do my best and I'll be trying to rely as heavily as I can on the people around me to take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves. So welcome to my channel. Um, if you're wanting to follow along the journey, subscribe, uh, like, subscribe, all those things. I believe it increases the retention rates and increases what this channel does really well. And so from there, that's me. This is gonna be a journey. Um, if you wanna know more, ask questions. If you wanna interact with me, more than happy to. Um, I'm just gonna be there hitting golf balls every day, trying to work out what I'm doing one by one. Welcome.